um, dipping into some of the new videos I'll be doing. It's just going to be about, after the weight loss stuff, it's going to be all about music. It's going to be about recording music and making music. And so why am I holding this the shell of a, of a, a Rickenbacker 4001 or 4003? I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I actually bought this kit online uh, from Pitbull. Pitbull Guitars in Australia. I thought I was getting an Australian product, uh, but I did, it says that it was made in Malaysia. So I don't know. Uh, the workmanship is okay. Um, nothing spectacular. But um, the wood grain is cut sideways like this. It goes like that way. So I was going to stain it and just a nice, be beautiful, deep cherry red. Uh, Would have been easier to actually make the guitar uh, than, than spraying it black. Um, unfortunately, because the grain goes sideways, it, um, it I, I couldn't stain it. So I decided to do the Getty Lee thing. Um, years ago, I w had the pleasure of working with Getty Lee um, on my show called Classic Albums, and I saw his his black bass, his black Rickenbacker, and I said, "Ah, oh, I love that guitar." And I've seen him in concert, and I just love the sound of it. And uh, you know, playing Y Y Z or something, it it just has that. I think what he does, he takes the, this pickup and he actually distorts it a little bit. But uh, when it gets done, when this guitar is finished, I will definitely do some uh, 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 samples for you. Uh, what I did do is there's a little bit of modification because honestly, some of the, in order to ob obviously be a $250 guitar kit, um, I had to go and purchase a couple things to make it more of a, a guitar that I actually can record with. I have no idea if this is going to work out, truthfully. I have no idea if this is going to sound anything like Rickenbacker or the intonation is going to be good or if there's going to be anything good about this guitar. Um, but I want to give it the best shot. So the bridge they sent me was total garbage. Um, it's outside rusting in the rain. I bought a hip shot um, bridge off the internet and uh, uh, that goes here. And this is hopefully going to create some um, some good intonation. Hopefully the bridge is straight. Hopefully they manufacture that correctly. Um, I well, here before I do, ah, um, I bought this off the internet. It's an old, um, a real actually a real Rickenbacker um, pick guard. But I think because of copyright issues or whatever, they have to make these guitars differently than the Rickenbacker ones. So this pick guard does not fit on here. And if you are trying to do that, like I was trying to, I just wanted to buy as much American parts as possible without spending the $3,000 guitar price. Um, I mean, if you can afford it, buy Rickenbacker, buy American, that's fine, you know, it's awesome. But if you have no money like me, go buy a kit. It's fun. It's a blast. This was $15. It doesn't work. Don't buy this on the internet thinking that you can use the old Rickenbacker uh, pick guard. I was excited about it because I had bought a actual Rickenbacker pickup off the internet and it perfectly fits in there. It per perfectly fits in that slot. Sir. So I was going to modify this guitar so that I could actually use this. It's so beautiful. It's so well made. It's so perfect. The Rickenbackers are gorgeous. I've owned two of them and I had a 325 short scale uh, John Lennon. Uh, beautiful, played it played well. It sounds, you know, it has that strange early, well, early 60s, late 50s. It's real twangy, not even twangy. It's got its, it's got its own unique individual sound. That 325. Uh, anyway, um, I'm disappointed about this, but so like I said, save yourself a few, few dollars. Don't buy that on the internet. Uh, use their, their pick guard, which is not as beautiful, but it will. It should fit. I've already tested it. Um, the Rickenbacker picker, picker, pickup fits right in there. Okay. Um, there's a little gap. It's not great. It's a little gap. It's in there, and I have to modify this too to fit in here perfectly. So, hi. Um, you know, so there's a lot of modifications, but actually if I put this in here, let's see if this works, and I put the hip shot down here, and I hold this up, it starts to look like a Rickenbacker, but as an audio engineer, I hope it sounds like a Rickenbacker. Um, 
when I sell millions of dollars worth of my my songs on the internet, and uh, I'll be able to buy myself a nice uh, 4001 uh, Rickenbacker. Um, but for now, well, 4003, I will use the hip shot. I will use the Rickenbacker pickup off the internet. I will use their, I hope the electronics aren't too noisy. And I will use their crappy bridge pickup. As you can see, this is your standard piece of garbage off the internet. But um, who knows? I hope to be surprised. All right, that's about it. Um, um, oh, and there's a sticker I got to put onto this. There was a little Rickenbacker sticker I bought too. So again, if you buy a real Rickenbacker, this is the real thing. Actually, trying to buy this on the internet is three hundred dollars. So if you were actually going to, what's the point of buying all this crap unless you want to build a kit? That comes down to it. Otherwise, save your money and buy yourself an American-made Rickenbacker. Um, this is just for fun for me. I'm just trying to do something. Uh, you know, I like electronics. I like putting things together. I like, I would like to see if I could make this look like this. Um, and it's not much fun to just go and spend the money on the internet. I just wanted to do something where my, you know, what does it take to build a guitar? I've never built a guitar before, you know, and I, I think it's um, something I probably won't do any I, again. The hardest part for me was getting this clear to get this just like because I like I said I had Rickenbackers before this is just beautiful you know we're talking about temperature control we're talking about dust control we're talking about they have the perfect way to, to, to make this beautiful and I'm 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 literally spray painting this outside in my backyard um, and I'm putting the polyurethane on it outside in the backyard there are little tiny micro specs and I tried to clean it off I took like alcohol to clean it down and the truth was you just can't you can't do what they do in the factory you just can't I mean you could probably stain this but again the grain is going to screw you up um, you could and the other thing was is that this this um, inlay is already in it when you buy the kit so the problem is is that inlay you're going to have to tape around it so I bought special tape you know for cars pinstriping and did it and it's okay you know I mean you look at it and you're like yeah that's that's not real so um, not like I'm trying to fool anybody I get worried about the neck because it's just glued in I use Gorilla Glue my brother who works with wood a lot he says Gorilla Glue is great it really seals everything uh, I put it on both sides um, I used a clamp put it together I don't know, there's just a tiny little piece of wood right here. So if this ever falls, it's probably going to snap right here. Um, anyway, those are the, the pros. The pros are is I got a chance to actually uh, just work on something, you know, to create something. That's the, that's, that's the excitement of creating something and having a challenge and doing it. Um, like I said, if you, if you can just, you know, if you want to get a Rickenbacker, get an American-made Rickenbacker. Okay, if you want to go through a fair, you know, levels of not hell, because I think when you're doing something like this, just like creating songs or music, you're not you're not going. It's not a a negative experience. You're just you're you. It's not even about the outcome. I mean, maybe sometimes it is, but sometimes it's just about the journey you're going through to get from one point where I get the cardboard box in the mail from from Sydney, Australia, wherever they're from, and. And from today, a month later, where, you know, I got a shiny, you know, shiny, nice guitar. It's got two different kind of feels. I made the back, I could feel the wood grain. On the front, it's just shiny and, and, and smooth. Uh, I got this, the, the nice, smooth, you know, just like the other Rickenbackers I've owned. Um, it just, it's just got a nice feel to it. I made this a little bit, just a little bit, not too smooth, just with a tiny bit of there's just a little bit of texture on here. I'm not sure why I did that. I just liked it. It just felt good, you know? I don't, I mean, it's not good for sliding your hand. Maybe it would have been better just to leave it uh, bare wood. But I like the way this feels. And I like the way... Actually, it's got three different textures. It's got a smooth texture. It's got this matte texture here. And it's got this wood grain texture on the back. So right there, I, I'm kind of, you know, by just trial and error and a hell of a lot of coats of paint, and a lot of sanding, um, 
I created something that's individual for me. I mean, Rickenbacker comes from the factory as they come. They, they are the way they make them. Um, I did, I, shot, I actually um, sanded this down more um, just to give it some edge, like a soft edge. Uh, it came kind of like straightforward like this, kind of a hard edge. So this is nice, nice and smooth right here. Um, that was my own little modification. Anyway, I'll post another video about this. I don't know the intonation, what it's going to sound like. Like, I think that with having the, the pit, not the pit bull, the uh, hip shot bridge, this may have been the most important part about this this little this little project. Um, I'll put some I'll put some good strings on it. I'll play it for you the next time. Um, but I'm still working on the uh, weight loss stuff, and this was just kind of a sideline to get me excited about the next couple months where we, I'll be producing music and writing in front of you, create, creating songs, talking about my experience with, with uh, you know, the, the members of Nirvana and Sam Phillips and Jay-Z and, you know, uh, you know it's going to sound, a lot of name dropping is going to be going on, but what I want to do is tell you all about music. Every single thing I know about music, every single thing, but I never built a guitar before. Never even thought about building a guitar until I saw a kit online. I couldn't afford the $1,500 to $3,000 for a real Rickenbacker. And I said, $250 to just mess around? I can do that. I'll probably be, be it'll probably cost me $500 total. So if this sounds good, then that's a good, that's a good deal. If it sounds like crap, then it's going to look pretty on the wall. That's about it. Um, I hope that the electronics are not scratchy and, and noisy. I'm hoping that they're quiet. I hope that they can be recorded properly. I hope that this, this sounds like Getty's bass. If it doesn't, then I don't know. The journey was worth it. You know, it was fun making this thing. It really was. Um, so far, so, so good. Um, I love... I just love working on it. I love sanding. I like sanding the wood. I like you know spraying it and you know cutting out this this laminate thing and just making it look like my old Rickenbackers and it was just it was fun. So wow, it's a long video. Sorry.